Yeah, Mr. Know-it-all is here. You know, you're focused, buddy, who never smiles. I didn't know what to do with him, so I had him wait in your room. Got it. Thanks. Well, Silence, looks like you finally found a door you could open without me. I'm glad it's there, actually. It kept me from having to mingle with the company you keep. But enough prattle. I believe you owe me an explanation, your plans for the Zenith base. You're right. I do owe you. My spear in your throat for deceiving me again, at the Hades Proofing Lab. I doubt you asked me here for that kind of reckoning. No. Right now, I need your help. So I'm giving you one final chance. But if you ever betray me again, I will kill you no matter what the circumstance. Understood? Very well. Though we'll both face a decidedly short future if you can't get us inside that base. Aloy, your other guest is here. She's, um, coming to you. Thanks. Good timing. The truth is, I can't actually get us into the base. But, she can. The company you keep is even worse than I thought. Not a fan of surprises, are you? Oh, well, look. That must be your little invention. Does the weapon work? Without self-destructing? Of course it does. I've eliminated the imperfections and greatly improved its design and output. How can we be sure? Care for a demonstration. Enough, both of you. We're in this together, at least for now. Go talk to Erend. Tell him I said to give you rooms of your own. I'll come see you when I get a chance. Oh, no. You first. Better get everyone in the control room, so Tilda can tell us what she knows about the Zenith base. Oh, looks like I can open that door now. Okay, maybe it's time to get everyone together so Tilda can brief us. But is there anything I should handle? All right, people. I need you up in the control room right away. Okay, everyone. We all know what's at stake. Beta, Gaia. Not to mention life on Earth. Now, it might seem like the Zeniths are invincible, but they're not. We've got what it takes to break into their base and defeat them. We even have one of them on our side. Tilda, show us the base. It is constructed atop the ruins of an ancient military facility on an island to the southwest. I can get us inside. To this location, undetected. How exactly? You'll know when you need to. Once inside, our goal will be this structure, the launch tower. Gaia and Beta are being held at the top. But along the way, we will face overwhelming resistance. Most importantly, from Gerard, Eric, and the others. 
but also... Once I take away their shields, we should be able to deal with them. But it will be easier to deploy the device if someone else is carrying it. I'll need a strong back. Carry stuff? Yeah, I can do that. Even if your device works, there will still be Spectre drones, scores of them. If only we had an army to fight them. I've got that under control. You'll know when you need to. All right. We'll meet up again just before we go in. Where's the best place to rendezvous? On the coast, just across from the island. Once there, I'll show you the way. Okay. I'll let you know when I arrive at the rendezvous point. And then you can join me. In the meantime, do whatever you need to prepare. Understood? You too? A minute? Tilda helped me get in touch with Beta, and she told me something important. There's an installation inside the base. It's called a regulator. Here. Once we're inside, I need you two to split off from everyone else and destroy it. So you'll have to bring explosives. This will help stop the drones. Everything depends on it. You with me? After that, I want you to find a way to infiltrate the Zenith network. How? Go over all the data that Beta left behind. She knew how to do it, I'm sure of that. All right, but why? Uh, what am I trying to do? Find information about the Zeniths. Anything Tilda's not telling us. Silence is right about one thing. There's no way we can take her on her word. I'll do my best. Keep her safe, okay? On my life. Okay. Almost time to go after Beta and Gaia. Might be good to check up on everyone first. Just you wait, Mara. We're taking those space lights down. Aloy, we're ready to meet you at the rendezvous point whenever you call. Fighting the Zenus isn't going to be easy. Nothing you do ever is. At least, now you don't have to do it alone. Thank Have you talked to any of our new friends? Aaron and I tried speaking to Silence. But apparently our tribal prattle is unnecessary. Charming, isn't he? How's Aaron doing? For a moment there, he thought he'd lost both you and Varl. But he never truly succumbed to despair. Guess that Asaram's stubbornness comes in handy sometimes. Have you met our new Quen guest yet? I could barely keep up as she gave herself a tour of the base. Varl gave her a new focus. Though, when he told her she was free to access all the data we have, she turned so pale I thought she'd faint on the spot. We showed her to the archive room so she could see for herself. She hasn't left the place since. That sounds like Alva. You've been getting to know Erend, I assume? Of course. Any friend of Varl's is a friend of mine. In is there anything I can help with around here? Mm hmm? Oh. No, we're doing fine. Are you okay? You and Varl were friends for quite a while. I like to think so. I was wondering... 
What do you know about his mother? Oh. That bad, huh? Well, why do you want to know? He spoke of his sister, Vala, but... I noticed he avoided talking about his mother. She's the war chief of the Nora. Best warrior the tribe's ever known. Tougher than a Thunderjaw. She could be pretty harsh at times. I see. That must have been hard on him. Thank you for telling me. I feel silly. I was... Never able to ask Varl directly. I wouldn't worry about it. He was probably afraid Sona would scare you off. I would have liked to see her try. Maybe I can meet her someday. When all this is over. I think that can be arranged. You ever play that board game Aaron set up? Strike? I'm the one who gave it to him. I was hoping it'd distract him enough to spare us that ruckus he calls death metal. No such luck. How are things with everyone? Slightly quieter. Aaron's been busy scouring data on his newest obsession. Apparently the old ones wrestled machines as some kind of performance. Called it metal versus me. You'd think we have enough of that going around as it is. You and Aaron seem to be on better terms now. He may have terrible taste in music, but he did apologize for mocking my tribe. And that ale he keeps raving about isn't half bad. I still plan on beating that stubborn face of his to break our sparring stalemate. Try not to hurt him too bad. Everyone here... ...training, working together. If it weren't for Varl... ...none of it would've happened. You know... ...there was this one night... ...right before Varl left with you to go to Gemini. He realized I was having trouble sleeping. I was never to be honest, I think we both were. So... He asked me to join him in Gaia's dome. He brought up this hologram of Earth that you two found back in the Zenith launch facility. We sat there. Just... Looking at it. I thought about how Plainsong was just a speck on that great sphere. How every corner of it must be teeming with life. And any fears I had about our mission were gone. I miss him terribly. I know. Ready to head over to the Zenith base? Whatever. You look like you have something on your mind. We're going to war soon. And war is something I promised myself I'd left behind in the Red Raids. But the more of your data I go through, every voice I hear, Every word I read from our ancient past, it makes me realize just how much life was given so that ours could flourish. Fighting for that gift, it's our responsibility. If we fail, it was all for naught. Helps to know you're not alone. For a moment there, you sounded like Varro. I don't know. What are you going to learn next? I'm not sure. Last time I spoke with Gaia, I asked her for suggestions, and she brought up data you found on something called a... museum? From what I gather, the old ones would store knowledge in them for all to see and learn from. Like you've done here, for us. Maybe one day, more people will be able to use this place to learn the way we have. That sounds... crowded, but... nice. Read anything interesting lately? I found out the Old Ones use leaf infusions, like the Utaru do. Tea, they call it. Apparently it helped soothe them. That and some sort of scented wax they used to cleanse their aura. Uh, plus something called bubble baths. Me, I think I'll stick to singing to calm the nerves. Thoughts on our new Zenith acquaintance? I'd say she smells like death, but even death smells of something. She's more like a cold piece of metal, bent on repelling all semblance of life. She's definitely different. Thoughts on our new Zenith acquaintance? I'd say she smells... She's more like a... She's... Thoughts on our new Zenith acquaintance? I'd say she smells like death, but even death smells of something. She's more like a cold piece of metal. 
bent on repelling all semblance of life. She's definitely different. Thoughts on our new... I'd say she's more like... She... I should go. Before you do... What is it? You placed this focus in my care. And gave me the highest calling an Utaru has ever known. If I should fall in battle... I'd like you to be the one to bury my seed pouch. For the both of us. So... Make sure you stay alive to do so. Let's just try to all come back home. Okay? Oh, hey, Aloy. Uh, we got some supplies in that chest. Help yourself. Aloy. Are we meeting at the beach near the Zenith base? We are. I just wanted to check in on everyone first. We're finally doing this. Never thought I'd be off on a mission to take down a bunch of immortals from the stars. I can hear the drinking songs already. Farrell made the right call, you know, bringing you here. Thanks. Yeah, Farrell. You know, I never knew he had a sister. I found out a few days before you guys went to, to Gemini. I was, uh, well, to be honest, I was terrified I'd screw up the mission somehow. So he sat me down for a drink. Just one, mind you. And we talked about family. Vala, Ursa, loss and revenge. And how you helped us. You know, we never did get that drink you promised back in the embrace. And you never told me exactly how your sister escaped the Mad Sun King. I guess we never got round to it. World ending and all. No time like the present, though. If you're up for it. I guess Silence is keeping to himself, as usual. I was hoping he'd give me an excuse to hammer his sorry ass to the ground. Please don't. You telling me you wouldn't want to get just one good hit on that smug face of his? After everything he's done? Sure. Later. Right now, he's got something we need. Do you think... so we'll be okay? I don't think anyone's ever okay after losing the one they love. I can't tell you she's handling it better than I ever did. That keeps the rest of us level-headed. Do I smell? I brought some over from Chain Scrape. And with everything that's been going on, I thought we could all use a drink. <laughs> Besides, that's what my sister always said. Anyways, you're more than welcome to have some. Maybe another time. I don't know. Anything Maybe happen now. I should know about? Uh, Zoe asked us to help her bring more plants in here. Not for eating, apparently. Yeah, if you ask me, the place is fine as it is. The metal might be plain, but it's Stirred. Nothing wrong with that. Who needs a bunch of vegetation? <coughs> How are things with Catalo? He's still oh, sure. oh, she thinks she's funny. Actually, I asked if it'd be interested in playing a game of strike. I had to fill in most of the conversation myself, but I'm still alive. Glad to hear it. Have you spoken with Alva yet? Yeah, when she's not reading the archives like a giddy kid drinking her first ale. Uh, she took to that new focus quick, that's for sure. I gotta say, I'm a little jealous. But I can see why you two hit it off. Anybody take you up on that ale you brought yet? Zo can't stand the smell of it. I try- What about Catalo? Ah, now there's a man that can hold his liquor. Pretty sure we downed half a keg. <laughs> we had a good chat. Doesn't look like any of our guests are making trouble. Yet. So, Catalo tells me you 
flu. Well, that's new. I've been busting my bulks trying to learn to read. You're, you're out there having all the fun. Don't worry. You'll be getting all the fun you can handle soon. With the Zeniths. Looking forward to it. You look tired. Ha! You're never one to hold back, are you? I've just been making sure that I got everything down for this mission of yours. I wouldn't want to be the usual screw-up out there. You'll do f You still sifting through loads of data? Yeah, it's interesting. There's lots of words. I, I thought maybe I could try finding things with more, you know, pictures in it. Not much luck there, but I, I did find out about these uh, holofilms, like images put together to tell a story. Uh, they were made to look like they were the real thing. You know, the Osaram like shows. I bet they pay a lot of shards for those hollows. You've been looking at any interesting data? Yeah, I asked Gaia to find me something to look at a while back, and she found the mother of all forges. They called it sports. Turns out the old ones spent a lot of time tackling and punching each other for points in, in one game or another. Are you mixing some solid food and fresh ale? I bet half the claim will be lining enough to watch. If that one's not working right, you can have one of my spare focuses, you know? Yeah, little bugger's got some personality, that's all. Save my butt with those specters. Wouldn't feel right to leave it behind now. You know, besides, it, uh, now it goes with my outfit. Wouldn't want to spoil your look. You, uh, talked to Tilda at all? I tried. I don't think even a hot forge could melt that ice. And you say she wants to help? I think so. Well, let's hope. You think it's time for us to finally have that drink? Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, yeah, of course. Oh. So, how did Ursa escape Mad Sun King Drawn's palace? <laughs> well, uh, first she had to survive the Sun Ring. See, during the war, the Karja threw a prisoner a day in there. And, you know, for what? To die as sacrifices, fighting machines in a pit. Thinking somehow that was gonna appease all the other deranged machines in the world? Ha! And when it was Ursa's turn, the Karja thought she'd go down if they threw a big machine at her. Oh, but she didn't. Yeah, she defeated all of them. They even got some of Jaron's kestrels for good measure. And the mad Sun King was impressed, I guess. Thought it'd be funny to have her run around his palace as a servant. He enjoyed humiliating her that way. I remember you telling me something about that. That's how she met Avad. He helped her escape. Yeah, but, but what no Karja scroll will ever tell you is how the young prince snuck Ursa out of the palace. He knew their best chance was to get Ursa to blend in, so... He got her everything she needed to disguise herself as a Karja noblewoman. And yet perfumes, veils and all. I get the feeling she wasn't too happy with that. Oh man, Ursa would have rather fought her way out of that palace with her bare hands than put on all of that Karja eye paint. But Avad insisted it was the only way, so she agreed under one condition. Avad had to dress up as well. She made Avad dress up like a noblewoman? As perfumed and powdered as a babe. Ursa said he looked better like that than he ever did in a crown. That would, uh, definitely make for an interesting sight. Oh, I worked like a charm, too. Not only did they make it out of the palace, they paid a traveling merchant to get Ursa to the border, and none were the wiser. You were right. That was a story best told over a drink. All good stories are. I guess I should get going. I'll see you at the rendezvous point. I wouldn't have it any other way. Did you need something? 
Bravo. You managed to sway a Zenith to your side. Care to explain? Not a chance. I thought you said the weapon was ready. There's always room to optimize. But that's not why you're here. I assume you want to comprehend my undertakings. So, ask away. Since when were you so forthcoming? Since you turned this into a waiting game. And as it seems you have found modest success, perhaps I'm willing to be generous. Okay, so your big plan, everything you've been manipulating for the last few months, let me see if I got this straight. You learned about the Zenith from Hades when you interrogated it. Then you came up with a plan to defeat them by using a Tanakh army and that weapon. And to get the Tanakh to fight for you, you, or rather the sons of Prometheus, armed Regala's rebels with override tech. Did you have an actual question, or are you still playing catch-up? So all this time, even before I found the coordinates at the Spire, you were out here scheming. Why couldn't you just tell me? When I learned of the Zenith's return to Earth, I laid out my plans. I knew I would one day require an army of overzealous Tanakh to assault the Zenith base. The casualties would be... Dream. And I knew you would never allow such a sacrifice, no matter how necessary. Thus, I devised a means to remove your interference from the equation at the Hades Proving Lab. Why create the Sons of Prometheus? You didn't need a bunch of Osirum tinkerers to make override tech. They were a necessary safeguard. My time serving Hades and the Eclipse demonstrated the risks of getting directly involved. Through the Sons of Prometheus, I could execute my plans. All while remaining anonymous. You wanted me to surrender to the Zenith at the Hades Proving Lab. They almost killed me. Based on everything I knew about them, I concluded they would find you a useful asset, thereby keeping you out of harm's way, and more importantly, out of my way. So you really didn't know they had their own clone of Elizabeth? No. Unfortunately, there was no way I could have known that particular detail. Detail? Well, I guess if it wasn't for that, we wouldn't be here today. Tell me about the weapon. How does it work? I've upgraded the delivery system. That doesn't fully answer my question. No, but I'd be a fool to reveal its inner workings. After all, why did you withhold your plan for dealing with the Zenith drones? Yes, even you can appreciate the value of secrecy when warranted. Suffice it to say that the weapon will work. The... Why help Regala take over? If you wanted an army, you could have just gone to Hakaro. Before Regala's rebellion, Hakaro was only concerned with battling machines and fostering friendships with Akarja. Even if I gained his ear, he wouldn't... So helping a bloodthirsty exile was easier? Yes. Exceedingly so. All Regala craved was war against the Karja and anyone who threatens the Tanakht. She would have led the tribe into battle without question, which was precisely what I needed. While I was out there, I had a couple run-ins with the Quen. The tribe from across the ocean. Their entire tribe was shaped around the discovery of focuses. One of them, Alva, even joined me here. Don't you want to know more about them? No. They stumbled upon the greatest technological artifact from the ancient world, and what did they do with it? They shrouded the knowledge they unearthed in mysticism and taboo creep. Yes, well, it also led them to Thebes. Did it now? So those run-ins with the Quen I mentioned. On one of them, I teamed up with their expedition to search Thebes. We found Pharaoh at the end. You must have needed Omega clearance. So, what was it like? Worse than you can imagine. He single-handedly wiped out collective human knowledge. I'm sure it was still less than he deserved. Let me guess. You would have scraped him into a jar so you could prod his brain, like what you did with Hades. For a start. All right, Silence. I think I've talked to you long enough. I'll let you know when it's time to go. And try not to mess with Tilda while you're in here, okay? I don't need the two of you. Ah, uh, yes. I wonder if you understand what kind of person you're dealing with. 
For someone to live as long as she has, outlast as many calamities, well, your goals may be aligned now, but I'd watch for the moment they diverge. Yeah, I'm aware. Reminds me of someone else I know. Survival is only a necessity to my greater purpose, Aloy. I'd hoped you'd recognize that by now. Do you know something or not? Oh, I know a great deal of things. But on this, you just call it a feeling. Oh, a feeling? You mean you finally had one? Huh. Guess even you can change, Silence. There's a lock now. There's a lot of equipment in here. Well done, Aloy. Despite my reservations, you managed to secure silence and his weapon. You're truly a shining example of Liz's fortitude. I've been thinking about what you said at your house. How you were friends with Elizabeth. It was more than that, wasn't it? Perceptive as ever. You're right, we were together for a time. Okay, so... What happened? I was an orphan. I had always been alone. By my 30s, I was starting to wonder if that was simply my fate in life. And then I met Liz. We kept running into each other at conferences. We'd have coffee. At some point, it became drinks. I thought it was just shop talk, an exchange of ideas, but... Then I was surprised at how much I looked forward to seeing her. Soon we were flying halfway across the world every other week just to meet up. For the first time, I didn't feel lonely. I could imagine a future where I wasn't. I think Liz felt the same way at first. She had lost her mother a few years back. I filled a void for her. I know I did. But as time passed, it seemed as though she wanted less when I wanted more. And so we ended things. So helping me, restoring Elizabeth's dream, it's what? A, a second chance, yes. I made a mistake leaving Earth while Liz stayed behind. I should have done more. So when I saw you, a woman who has carved her own remarkable path beyond even what made Liz a phenomenon. I knew I had to help you. To do right by her. Okay. I'll be here until... And thank you, my path more than one... I... Maybe we can make it happen. We will. I think I uh, unlocked this room a while back. What are those holograms? Gaia turned them into a means of tracking rebel activity in the region. Way back to all I could have worn out. I was running out of rain for now. May your blood.
Even outlanders see that Rivala is treacherous. Talo, thought this might interest you. Three of our soldiers have gone missing in the Valley of the Fallen. The whole area is crawling with machines. There have been reports of glowing lights off the coast. Marshal Vera should be at the Valley's entrance. She might need your help. Thanks. I'll look into it when I can. I should take care of everything I can before calling in the others to attack the Zenith base. Okay, everyone. I'm at the rendezvous point. It's time to rescue Beta and Gaia. Understood, Aloy. We're on our way. Let's go. Hey, Lord. Where are the others? Not far behind. Egghead here couldn't stand traveling with the pack. Hmm. Are we all here? Then let's begin. Tunnel. An ancient escape route from the ruins on the island. When I realized it ran all the way across the water, I, I thought it might prove useful to come and go undetected. So I concealed it from the others. Shall we? I wish there was a less pungent way to get way inside the base. Agreed. There's the launch tower. That plane offers a little cover, so the only viable path is through there. There will be specters guarding it, and many more can be deployed from those hangars. All right. Alva, Catalo, get to it. Where are they going? Somewhere important. 
Aaron, you're with me. You guys, take the high ground in case we need covering fire. Tactically sound, I suppose. What will she do? There's a sensor node nearby. If I hack into it, I should be able to scramble the network and keep you undetected. But not for long. Then we should proceed. One more thing. Open up the channel to beta. Audio only. Aloy. We're here. And we're coming for you. You know what to do, right? As long as you hold up your end. We will. See you soon. Be careful. Let's go. Get to the line. There's that. Uh... 